All right, folks. So I want to talk a little bit about a topic that comes up from time to time. And that is not how to call CQ. I think most folks know that. There's a lot of good videos on uh, on the topic on YouTube where folks are saying, do things like CQ, CQ, this is your call sign on 20. And uh, they may say things like CQ, CQ POTA, CQ SOTA, CQ QRP, uh, with various pieces of, of identification as to how they are operating. And that's all well and good. But I think that one of the challenges that we see are when people don't know where to call CQ. It's something that comes up often, um, and it creates disharmony sometimes in the ham community where people may be calling CQ on frequencies they shouldn't. So let's take a few minutes to take a look at the band plan and the considerate operator's guide, two tools that you should acquaint yourself with if you're going to be calling CQ. Okay, so the first thing that we're going to take a look at is the U.S. Amateur Radio Bands. And this is a document provided by the ARRL. And I will include a link below so you can have this, although I suspect most people are familiar with it and already have it uh, bookmarked. But the first thing you should do is you should come here and then you should understand where your privileges allow you to operate. So for example, if you take a look at, uh, at 20 meters, uh, the 14 megahertz band here, you can see that if you're an extra advanced or general, generals can have phone operation privileges that's highlighted here in green from 14.225 all the way up to 14350. And I think a lot of times folks are misinformed or make the mistake that they can call CQ anywhere. One of these in uh, 20 meters, we use upper side band. So you should stay um, three kilohertz away from the top of the band edge, for example. But let's take a look at the considerate operator's guide and see other frequencies that are not exactly designated, but through best practices have been adopted for certain types of amateur radio use. Okay, here's another website from the league, and I will include a link to this below. But here, if you scroll through this, you can see different sections for each band. Now let's go down and take a look at 20 meters. Here it shows you the overall bandwidth of that particular band. And it shows where people do uh, ready, packet, beacons, uh, some more packet work. Here is a frequency for SSTV. Um, you can often hear people calling CQ here when they shouldn't be and then up at the AM calling frequency. So it's probably not a bad idea to acquaint yourself with this document if you're going to go out and call CQ. The other document that I wanted to talk a little bit about is this uh, more tableized approach. It's a little bit easier to read and um, it's the considerate operator's frequency guide. And again, taking a look here, you can see for 20 meters, there's QRP, uh, CW calling frequencies. Most of these are below general privileges, um, but even extra sometimes need to be reminded of this. Up here you can see SSTV at 14230, um, digital SSTV at uh, 233, digital voice at 236, QRP single sideband calling frequency uh, 14285, and then the AM calling frequency again at 286. Just wanted to put this out there as a quick tip as I've been in a few conversations recently where questions around this have come up or questions around the best place for folks to be activating or calling CQ. Anyhow, if you have any questions, comments, suggestions, or recommendations, go ahead and post them below and I'll do my best to respond. Also, all of these links will be posted in the description below. Thanks a lot.